Acne treatment begins with a change in your diet. If you suffer from acne, here is a letter from a former acne patient to you to offer the most effective yet common sense acne treatment to zap those zits. As the father of medicine, Hippocrates once stated, let your foods be your medicine, and your medicine your food. It will be an understatement to say he is correct and had I known of this during my close to a decade of marring acne and sheer waste of money on so-called acne products, perhaps my life at that time would have been much happier. Well, now that I do know, with the staggering number of acne patients left last time I stumbled on the number, we are talking 50 million plus people folks, I feel the least I can do is inform or better still remind the public of this simple discipline towards acne treatment, naturally and permanently. I can boldly say, starting today, if you suffer from acne and want to see it gone, like I did so many years back, you have to stop eating acid-forming, disease-forming foods. In layman terms, junk and processed foods and drinks. How did I figure this out? Well, at the time I was a Michael Jackson fan and had read in some books on him that he as well as Jermaine, his brother, suffered from severe acne as teens but were able to control it with a change in their diet, from the standard American diet to a healthier vegetarian one. Needless to say, I swore off junk food as the first step towards a successful acne treatment and started doing my own research to validate this claim and indeed, that suggestion is correct. You are what you eat, is a saying known all over the world, and what you consume has arguably the most effect on your overall health. Now, since the skin, according to Dr. Stanley Burroughs, is the second most important eliminating organ, it only makes sense that what is consumed should not leave a detrimental residue to aggravate skin eruptions. Moreover, all processed and junk foods and even foods of the animal kingdom tend to not only constipate the visceral organs, but they poison the blood, which my friends aggravates the other causes of poor health like stress, insomnia and the like. Remember, blood does flow through the brain. No one is saying that other factors like losing a job, death and the like don't still exist. Far from it, but from an internal point of view, you have to make the effort to change your diet for not only acne treatment but overall improved health and fitness. That said, herein lies a suggestion for a successful treatment of acne conditions. No, I'm not a religious fanatic but hey the creator cannot be wrong folks, every herb bearing seed and ever fruit bearing see in it shall be yours for food. Okay, I'll break it down, for a successful acne treatment, eat more if not exclusively fruits and vegetables. Of course they are best enjoyed raw and organic if possible, but can be also relished properly cooked. So don't steam with excess water and by all means avoid the microwave trust me I know what I'm saying. Also, for external acne treatments ensure that you change the pillow case nightly if possible, sleep on the right side, face clearly off the pillow, avoid harsh chemicals, avoid positioning your face underneath a shower especially when it's hot, this for two reasons doing so introduces harmful chlorine into your lungs and from my experience, aggravates acne by drying out the skin and consequently suggesting to the dermis that it needs to produce more oil oil than needed to lubricate the skin. You may want to pick up facial massaging or simply washing the face with cool water. In addition, it doesn't hurt to occasionally steam your face. Try using boiled distilled water though for the same reasons on avoiding chlorine inhalation above. Now, you try this for a week and I bet you, you will see a drastic improvement in your skin condition via this superior, yet common sense method of acne treatment. Acne treatment Do you know what is acne? Acne is one of the most common skin disorders that can cause damage to skin. Acne not only may disfigure skin, but it also affects the psychology of the sufferer. Acne that begins with plugged skin pores develops in stages. Let us find out more. 
Acne development stages in the first stage acne normally begins in the form of whiteheads and blackheads caused by plugged pores of the skin. Blackheads are also called as open comedones and whiteheads are called as closed comedones. The blackheads and whiteheads are the first stage of acne. The second stage is pimples or zits. They are medically known as papules and pustules. Pimples form when the acne gets inflamed. Some people suffer from very large acne that is called nodules and cysts. These are very large and deep lumps of acne. Where does acne develop? Acne develops on all the places of the body where sebaceous glands are found. Skin produces an oily substance called sebum. This sebum is produced by sebaceous glands. With the clogging of these glands, acne develops. Sebaceous glands are attached to hair follicles and the sites are mainly, face, neck, chest, back, shoulders, neck and upper arms. So you can expect to get acne on all these sites. Face is not the only place for acne. Who gets acne, anybody can get acne. Though most of the teenagers suffer from acne. It can occur in the higher age groups of 30s, 40s or above. Even if you did not get acne during your teenage, you can get it later in life. Why should we worry about acne? Acne can disfigure the skin permanently. It causes a lot of mental stress and affects confidence by spoiling the looks. Though acne can clear without medication in few years, treatment can cure acne quickly and stop this irritating condition. Acne treatment from the inside out. Explains the damage that you can do to your skin without the right approach and treatment for acne. Acne will affect almost every person at some stage of their life. Some are lucky and only ever get a pimple or two, but for many, acne can be a socially demoralizing condition, and it's not just in teens, adults suffer too. Studies suggest that 20-25% of males and 40-45% of females suffer prolonged bouts, occurrences of acne, whether it be persistent acne or regular breakouts. In a lot of cases, the acne treatment that is administered ends up making the situation worse and can be damaging to the skin. You see, most people either scrub their skin really hard in the hope of cleaning it more thoroughly, and some see a pimple and just can't wait to squeeze it. That's the wrong approach for two reasons. First and most importantly, when you are squeezing your skin you are damaging it. Our skin is a very fragile commodity, and acne scars happen all so easy, so squeezing pimples isn't desirable. Second, when you squeeze a pimple or scrub the skin very hard, you invariably push some of the sebum, the oil that causes the pimple, back into the pore and down the hair follicle shaft. This can magnify the problem by creating a further blockage and swelling which may just end up causing an infection. So instead of suffering once, you suffer twice. To better understand how acne happens, we can simply describe it as the result of the blockage of a skin pore. The blockage is typically caused by excess sebum and or dead skin cells which haven't exited the hair follicle via the skin pore. Sebum is naturally occurring fatty oil that moisturizes the skin and hair. Without it, your hair would be thin and brittle, and your skin would be dry and hard. What happens is that as your body continually replaces its skin, sometimes the skin cells do not shed evenly causing a blockage. The sebum oils keep producing in the hair follicle and when these oils cannot exit via the pore, they back up in the follicle and swelling occurs, and you have a pimple. Acne treatment is a science that is progressing at a phenomenal rate. In the 80s and 90s the best acne treatment on offer were chemical-based products that worked for most cases. Some were very harsh on the skin, and some actually made the situation worse. 
In recent years, a switch to a natural acne treatment has seen far more positive results because scientists have been able to study closer how, why the acne is caused, and apply ingredients that actually correct the problem rather than mask it. So what is the best way to treat acne? The best acne treatment for you will obviously be the one that rids you of your unwanted condition quickly and with little or no side effects. But there are just so many products to choose from and so many different approaches, rationales. Some say that all acne is caused by hormonal imbalances, some say that it is totally to do with skin care and hygiene. Reality suggests that it is a combination of these two variables. The human body is an ever-changing organism and it needs balance, so an approach that recognizes this fact could very well be labeled as the best acne treatment. Choosing your solution is more complex than this. For example, should the best treatment for adult acne differ from the best treatment for teenage acne? Behind every one of the so-called best acne treatment products, will be a legacy of FAQs, customer testimonials, comparisons with other brands, solutions and claims of how long it will take to rid you of acne. The truthful ones will tell you that there is no single product that will solve your acne problem, and they will also tell you that acne cures are not an overnight magic solution. The truthful ones will also tell you that the chemical-based products have side effects, and that natural solutions have little or no side effects. The ZenMed system fits this profile as it promotes healthy, supple skin condition while attacking the problem from the inside too. Instead of being a harsh skin tonic, it is like an acne cure and a skin care system at the same time. You get relief from acne, and you get a skin care regime all in one. The products combine together to alleviate the internal cause of the swelling, acne, while cleaning and nourishing the skin at the same time. Acne treatment how to take care of your skin? Basic skins care for acne can help you control aggravation and stop scars to a certain extent. Please take the following care. Number 1. Do not pick acne. Trying to squeeze out blackheads or whiteheads may lead to further infection. Picking up acne at second stage may lead to scarring. Number 2. There is a misconception that excessive sweat or dirt can cause acne. In blackheads what you see black is not dirt but oxidized sebum. Please do not be harsh with your skin. That will aggravate the acne condition. Gently clean your face with mild soap or cleansers formulated to care for acne and warm water. Pat dry, do not rub. Number 3. Use non-comedogenic cosmetics and skin care products. Non-comedogenic products are certified to not cause or aggravate acne. Number 4. Protect your skin with sunscreens. Avoid getting tanned. If you are under treatment for acne, consult your doctor about sun exposure as some medicines make your skin more sensitive to sun. Number 5. Facials may aggravate your acne. Avoid any kind of facial if you have an acne outbreak. Number 6. Do you have the habit of touching your acne frequently? Avoid that. Also avoid any bangs coming on the forehead. Number 7. If you think that more than recommended dose of cream, lotions prescribed for your acne will cure acne faster, it is time to change your thinking. That may harm you rather than helping you. Number 8. Keep your face free of makeup as much as possible. Let the skin breath fresh air. Acne prone skin needs fresh air. Number 9. Avoid using any oil or oil-rich product for your hair. Use oil-free hair care products. Oily hair may worsen your acne. Number 10. Do not get worried if your medication does not produce immediate result in treating acne. Consult your doctor and find out the time during which you would get relief from acne. Do not worry till then. 
Acne medication takes time to treat acne and produce clear skin. Acne treatment, 10 facts about acne. First, acne affects almost 90% of the adolescent population. So you are not alone. Also, it is not normally anything you have done, eaten or the way you wash. So you do not need to feel guilty. So let's look at some facts. Number 1. Junk food causes acne. Wrong. Pizza, chocolate, coke or any other junk food has never been proven to cause this. That does not mean to say you should carry on eating all this junk food. A sensible diet is good for everyone, and helps you feel better. Number 2. Acne is caused by dirt. Wrong. Actually washing your face more than twice a day or scrubbing your face with pads or flannels will make it worse. Acne treatment needs mild gentle soap and to rinse thoroughly. Number 3. Sweat will clear my pores. Wrong. A mixture of body sweat and oils can aggravate certain situations for some acne sufferers. Shower immediately after any sport and wear loose clothing. Number 4. Women's makeup can cause acne. Wrong. No scientific evidence has been found to verify this. Most products today are mad to stop the clogging of the pores. So this is not the problem. Do not wear makeup though when exercising as this can irritate the problem. Number 5. Stress causes acne. Wrong. To an extent. Stress can trigger off some hormones, which could aggravate the situation. But it is not the cause. Number 6. You cannot cure acne. But you can treat it. There are a lot of good acne treatments on the market. See your doctor. Number 7. Sun can help. Wrong. It can in time worsen the situation in time. A tan might give the effect that your skin looks better, but it certainly will do it no good. Number 8. Spot acne treatment works. Wrong. The whole face has to be treated. Most of the problems are formed under the skin. So treating the top of the spot is not going to do anything. Number 9. You will outgrow it. Wrong. Acne is treatable. Don't wait see a doctor ASAP. Number 10. It's only cosmetic. Well yes. It is not serious. But it can affect you, your self-esteem, and your confidence. So get it treated and become acne free. Acne treatment and products acne usually goes away after puberty, but adult acne can linger for years and be a real deterrent. Causes of adult acne and teen acne can include hormones, vitamin deficiency, stress, diet, evolutionary biology and many more. Things are much more complicated with adult acne. Treatment Acne Cure Acne with an all-natural acne treatment that eliminates redness, pimples, blackheads, whiteheads, acne scar, adult acne and much more. People who are suffering with mild to severe adult acne can be treated with tropical or oral medicines. The main aim of any best adult acne treatment should include prevention of scarring and clearance of acne. For severe form of adult acne systemic therapy is mainly used. Remember not every popular adult acne products work well for everyone. The exact reasons for adult acne is unknown but is believed to relate to the changes or imbalance in an individual's body hormones. Causes of adult acne, although the causes of adult acne are unknown, it is thought that adult acne may sometimes have hormonal roots. Skin problems not only affect those in their teens, adult acne is also a very common occurrence, in today's society. Popping a pimple or any physical acne treatment generally should not be attempted by anyone but a qualified dermatologist. See what others have to say about specific acne treatment products before you buy them. 
This is a major factor to consider when searching for acne treatment products. There are infinite acne treatment products on the market today. If you jump online, you will notice a great variety of acne treatment products with numerous reviews to boot. Learn about some of the most popular acne treatment product and what makes it effective. Treatment Acne Cure Acne with an all-natural acne treatment that eliminates redness, pimples, blackheads, whiteheads, acne scar, adult acne and much more. Acne is the most common skin affliction in the world, yet quality acne treatment is still a mystery to many sufferers. The main aim of any best adult acne treatment should include prevention of scarring and clearance of acne. Most people who suffer from acne go out and spend good money on common over-the-counter acne treatment products. See what others have to say about specific acne treatment products before you buy them. This is a major factor to consider when searching for acne treatment products. There are infinite acne treatment products on the market today. If you jump online, you will notice a great variety of acne treatment products with numerous reviews to boot. Most people who suffer from acne go out and spend good money on common over-the-counter acne treatment products. Experts suggest that you never use standard bath soap, next on you list of cystic acne treatments as a face moisturizer. X Acne Sufferer reveals what natural acne cures work, what acne treatments to avoid, and more surprising acne information. I have been through all sorts of acne treatments, including Accutane multiple times, and Proactive was very effective for me. It is the most effective and easy to use product that I have encountered in my search for acne treatments. For some the cheapest acne products do the job, for others it is the most expensive. To get the best out of any over-the-counter acne products you need to use them consistently and correctly. Remember not every popular adult acne products work well for everyone. Acne treatment, how to squeeze a spot, zit or pimple. First of all, and you probably know this, you shouldn't squeeze acne, spots or pimples. Let's face it, you're going to do it anyway right? If you must there's a way to do it safely. Thoroughly clean your face and then apply a wet, warm face cloth over your entire face for around 10 minutes. Next, pat your face and hands dry with a soft, clean towel, try not to rub with the towel as this can spread infection. Next, cover your fingers with dry tissue and apply gentle, even pressure to the sides of the blemish. Gently press downward first and then upwards, toward the pimple or spot. Try it once or twice and then leave it. If it's not ready, forcing the issue will only make matters worse and might even lead to scarring. If the blemish does squeeze out, remove the head and oil with the tissue to avoid spreading bacteria. Finally, immediately apply a treatment product, zit or pimple. Your path to clear skin is based on three basic methods. Each area can have a profound impact on your skin so make sure to pay careful attention to all of these methods. Number 1. Topical regimen, what you put on your skin This section consists of scientific and natural ingredients that have been shown to combat acne or have skin beneficial effects. Topical creams can have the most immediate impact on the look and feel of your skin. Number 2. Lifestyle, everyday mistakes are too frequent proper exercise is an important aspect of anyone's life. To keep your body, and your skin, in proper health, you must exercise on a regular basis. Your body must be efficient at eliminating waste in order to help curb your acne problem. Sweating is one of those mechanisms and a healthy heart and circulatory system also make a big difference. Number 3. Exercise at least two times per week for 30 to 60 minutes. This should include cardiovascular and resistance training. 
Note, wash your face and body within 30 minutes of finishing your workout to minimize the chance the bacteria build up. Number 4. Diet. You are what you eat whether or not what you eat affects your skin is a matter of some debate. We feel that what you eat affects your body in many ways, including your skin. Our diet section includes a list of foods that may cause acne flare-ups and also a list that can have benefits for your skin. Acne treatment, know about all topical treatments. Before we discuss the topical treatments for acne we have to note down the effects we desire from those treatments. The desired results in acne treatment are reduce inflammation, open the closed pores, kill the bacteria and reduce the oil. To get these results the following topical treatments are generally used. Benzoyl peroxide The most common medicine that has been used since long to treat acne has been benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide performs three main functions, it removes excess oil, unclogs the closed pores and kills the bacteria. Benzoyl peroxide is available in form of cream or gel and can cause excessive dryness because it removes oil, can sometimes also cause redness and some swelling. Because of these possible side effects do not use more than recommended dose of benzoyl peroxide. Salicylic acid This is commonly used to treat non-inflammatory acne. Salicylic acid corrects the abnormal shedding of skin cells that block the pore openings. Salicylic acid does not kill the bacteria nor reduces the sebum production. It helps unclog the pores. It can be effectively used to treat whiteheads and blackheads. Sulfur and resorcinol they are commonly used in combination and help unclog the blocked pores and reduce excess oil. This combination can treat white heads and black heads. It may also cause peeling of skin and redness. Alcohol and acetone Alcohol is a mild antimicrobial agent and acetone is a solvent that cleanses dirt and oil. This combination can be used to treat mild form of acne. Azelaic acid Azelaic acid reduces the bacteria P. acnes and helps reduce the abnormal shedding of dead skin cells. It reduces inflammation by these two actions. Azelaic acid is used to treat mild and moderate acne. Azelaic acid can produce some dryness and lighten the skin where it is applied. Otherwise it is well tolerated by most people. Topical antibiotics Antibiotics such as clindamycin, erythromycin and sodium sulfacetamide are used to reduce the population of inflammation causing bacteria P. acnes. Prolonged use of antibiotics can produce resistance in the body. It is important to use antibiotics as directed by your doctor. Most of the topical antibiotics do not have any side effects except dryness or irritation. You should report these to your doctor. Topical retinoids Retinoids are vitamin A derivatives and are very effective in treatment of mild to moderate acne. Topical retinoid formulations may contain active ingredients such as adapalene, tazeratine and tretinoin. Topical retinoids clear the clogged pores and have anti-inflammatory properties. Another advantage of using topical retinoids is that they help remove fine lines and wrinkles. Topical retinoids may produce skin irritation. They should be strictly used under medical supervision as some of them such as tazeratine have shown birth defects in animal trials. This article is only for informative purposes. This article is not intended to be a medical advice and it is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Please consult your doctor for your medical concerns. Please follow any tip given in this article only after consulting your doctor. The author is not liable for any outcome or damage resulting from information obtained from this article. Acne treatment, prescription medicines. Information on prescription options for treating acne. 
While it is true that in most cases acne can be safely and effectively treated with over-the-counter treatments any time you have an unusual skin condition it is advisable to consult a dermatologist. The doctor can provide you with valuable advice on treating the condition even if it is only acne. Severe acne should always be treated by a dermatologist, they can provide prescription medication that is effective at treating the more severe acne outbreaks. Moderate and mild acne can usually be treated without the advice of a doctor but even with moderate acne prescription medications may be able to treat it better and faster than over-the-counter solutions. Medications for treating acne are given in one of two forms, oral or topical. In many cases the doctor will use a combination of both types to treat the outbreak. Antibiotics are frequently used to treat acne and can be provided in either form. Other topical medications will usually include ingredients such as zinc and retinoids. The most common antibiotic for treating acne is tetracycline. It works with a dual action both killing the acne causing bacteria as well as helping to reduce the inflammation. Antibiotics are not an immediate fix and will usually have to be taken for weeks or even months before the acne clears up, you will also have to continue the antibiotic even after the acne clears up to prevent a reoccurrence. There are some side effects reported with the use of tetracycline, with extreme sensitivity to the sun being the most common one. Anyone taking tetracycline needs to be very careful about exposure to sunlight to avoid severe sunburns. Some people may also experience nausea, hives and even dizziness. Women undergoing treatment with tetracycline may notice an increase in vaginal yeast infections. Young children and pregnant women cannot take tetracycline because it can cause discoloration of growing teeth. Ointments that contain antibiotics have a lower rate of reported side effects. These ointments will kill the bacteria and but there can be some cases of the bacteria becoming resistant to the antibiotics. Combining other medications such as benzoyl peroxide with the antibiotic lotion can greatly reduce the chance of such problems. Retinoids are a derivative of vitamin A and are usually applied directly the skin in the form of a lotion or creme. The use of topical retinoid medications is very effective in treating blackheads and whiteheads. It produces the positive results by cleaning out the pores that cause the acne, the only common side effect is dry skin. If the acne is severe and is not responding to other treatments then an oral retinoid medication may be used. This will cause the top layer of skin to peel off which will also open the pores. The oral retinoids also cause the body to create less sebum, which also reduces the acne issues by reducing the oil on the skin. There can be some rather serious side effects associated with using oral retinoid medications. Since they can cause serious birth defects any woman on oral retinoids should use two forms of birth control to avoid the possibility of pregnancy. They can also cause depression and liver damage so anyone using these medications must be closely monitored by their doctor. There are some other medications that have the side effect of helping with acne. In some women birth control pills help reduce acne by changing the hormone levels and reducing the testosterone levels. Zinc can also be used to treat acne. Acne treatment, surgical and physical procedures for treating acne. Acne treatment focuses on quick acne cure and avoidance of acne scarring. As acne progresses, the possibility of scarring increases. With surgical and physical procedures doctors hope to bring quick healing to acne. These procedures are mainly performed to drain acne, dry out the oil and reduce the size of sebaceous glands. Let us look at some of these common procedures. Comedone extraction in this procedure the blackheads and whiteheads are removed by doctor using sterile instruments. 
The extraction stops further growth. This procedure may be combined with oral or topical treatment. Cyst drainage Large cysts are drained and extracted skillfully by doctors to remove the pus, dead cells, sebum and other matter that is accumulated in the large cysts. This prevents cysts from further growth and scar formation is reduced. Steroid injection Sometimes cysts are injected to dry them out with steroid. This gives quick results. Peeling and dermabrasion with mild chemical peeling and microdermabrasion, the epidermis is cleaned of dead skin cells, the pores are opened and acne is reduced. Laser, diode laser can be used to treat acne. Light source Some lights such as blue light and green yellow lights are used to kill P. acnes bacteria that creates inflammation in acne. Most of these procedures are used along with topical or oral treatment of acne. The main objective is to treat acne at a stage where scar formation will not take place. Acne treatment Know these facts about acne. All of us have different ideas about acne. The scientific facts may be different, it is better to know the facts about acne before trying any therapy or believing in untested ideas. Please read some basic facts about acne below. Frequent washing. Frequent washing of the acne affected area will not treat acne. It may adversely affect it. Washing twice a day is enough. Contrary to popular belief acne is not caused by dirt. It is the sebaceous gland that gets closed and forms the acne because of various reasons. Food. No food has any relation with acne, if you feel that a food makes your acne worse, please stop that food after consulting your doctor. No conclusive evidence has yet pointed out to acne and its relation to food. Medications. Some medications can bring on acne. Some cortisones, certain anti-tuberculosis drugs and some anti-epileptic drugs can cause acne. Chlorinated solvents can also cause occupational acne. Oral vitamin A. Derivatives of vitamin A, called retinoids are used topically and orally to treat acne under medical supervision. Vitamin A does not treat acne. If somebody takes excessive vitamin A hoping that it will treat acne, that may make the health worse as vitamin A in large quantity can have adverse effects on the body. Hereditary. If your parents had acne, you may be more prone to it. Hormonal changes. Hormonal changes bring on acne. It is hormone androgen that is responsible for excess production of sebum. Females can have acne outbreaks during menstruation and pregnancy. Acne-like conditions. Some other conditions such as folliculitis may appear like acne. There are many other diseases that may look like acne. They are rosacea, keratosis pilaris, perioral dermatitis and some other conditions. It is always better to get diagnosed by a doctor rather than beginning self-treatment.